What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and I thought we'd do a follow-up for Mephisto because I did get some requests uh, to show how strong this guy actually is in World Boss Legend. So we're going to be taking on himself, and I am doing Stage 9. I would go higher, but after Stage 9, it is you need superheroes, and unfortunately, Mephisto doesn't fit that requirement because he's a super villain. And we are using Storm on the team for the extra 35% increase to all elemental damage. Daredevil's just there for fun. And as far as my strikers, I am using attack and damage out the super villain strikers, except for Captain Marvel for that movement speed. And Mephisto really is freaking amazing for this. Of course, you want to use the Dark Awakened form, and I am using the same rotation that I did in ABX, where I start off with the third skill, do the Dark Awakened form, so we can get that all attack from the fourth skill. And then we do the second start off with the second skill, then go into the five, then into the four, then into the one, and then the next rotation will be the second skill. Well, once there's two seconds left on the fifth skill, hit the second skill, go into the five, go into the tier three, go into the four, go into the one. And this guy is absolutely amazing, especially for himself, uh, because one, he is a blast type, so he doesn't have advantage or disadvantage against himself because they're both blasts, they're on a level playing field. And also, he just has naturally 69% fire resist. So Mephisto doesn't take a lot of damage. I mean, I could even augment that even more by throwing in some fire resist strikers, but you really don't need to because Mephisto has a lot of survivability. Uh, the guy just has uh, good heals. You know, he has a 15% recovery of max HP, a max HP heal in his Dark Awakened form. He's got the immunity. Uh, he's just a monster of a character, literally, right? And he's so easy to play. So freaking easy, you know. And then that second skill, having that ignore iframe, really, really helps, especially whenever Mephisto's in an iframe. But you can see the damage. Uh, the most important thing that I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to make sure the proc engages. Whenever I use the second skill, I'm trying to get that proc to engage for the rage. I do think uh, me having 11% pierce on my account Having a CTP of Judgment would be a lot better, in all honesty, because you'd get that chain hit damage. I think it would be so much better in World Boss Legend, but I think for ABX, maybe the Rage would be better. I don't have a spare CTP of Judgment. I do plan on getting one whenever the CTP chest uh, has the CTP of Judgment chance up. I'll probably go ahead and get one uh, specifically for Mephisto. I really don't want to be taking all my Judgments off my other characters like Rogue and Ghost Rider. I only have two of them right now. But I do want to put one on them because, you know, ABX is all good and I do love ABX, but World Boss Legend for me is where it's at and I really want him to do even better here. But, you know, Stage 9, you know, I do have a 105% energy attack on my cards. I do get a 20% energy attack proc at times. So almost 125% energy attack at times whenever we're fighting. That's pretty massive buff. And then, of course, having that 11% pierce. But... Doing stage 9, you know, with his leadership, and this is a leadership that does increase fire damage by 30%, but it's only when he's debuffed, and that's on a 20 second cooldown. So you don't always have that fire damage buff from his leadership, but the debuff is really nice, especially against himself, because whenever he's the big monster right here and he hits you, he can stun you. Well, when your debuff is off cooldown and you get hit, you're not going to get stunned. Which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, it makes Mephisto actually insane for himself on top of having the fire resist and the heals. And of course the accumulation, just all his damage buffs. I mean the guy is a monster. Honestly stage 9 was really too easy for him on my account. But again I can't go no higher because I need superheroes from stage 10, 11, and 13. And I haven't went past 13. I'm actually... Uh, been trying to get those blast books for Cole. Otherwise I'd push Mephisto a little bit more. Because I really do want to push the, push the World Boss Legends as high as I can. I've been neglecting Null as well. I mean, uh, where I'm at right now as far as the World Boss, I was, I was using 8% Pierce. And now that I got 11, I think I can go a little bit higher. But again, I'm just trying to get those Blast Books for Scarlet. So, you know, 41 seconds to spare. Stage 9. One support. No freaking problem, guys. Now let's see what he can do against Null. So Null is a completely different story than Mephisto. Actually, after stage 9, you just need male types up until 15. And then at 15, you actually need humans, which Mephisto doesn't apply there. But 
those of you, whenever you start pushing past stage nine, Mephisto is actually going to be quite insane. Now, I am using Doctor Strange leadership at that 30% increase of energy attack, but that 20% ignore dodge as well. And notice I'm not using any ignore dodge strikers, and that's because Mephisto actually gets 70% ignore dodge on his tier three. And along with Doctor Strange's 20% ignore dodge leadership, that's going to be 90% ignore dodge whenever we're doing the tier three. Now, when we're doing our regular skills, we only have 20% ignore dodge. So keep that in mind when you're watching this run. I could have used different ignore dodge strikers. However, when it comes to ignore dodge, I believe that Agent Venom is the only male ignore dodge striker. So we could just put one ignore dodge striker in there, but we really don't need it. I do got Cyclops on the team for the extra 30% increase to energy attack from his passive. And I do have a CTP of insight on Cyclops, which does help. But this is stage 14. Uh, this is up there, my friends. Uh, on my account, this is amazing to be able to push this high of level. Come on, come on, come on. And you really don't have to worry about a whole lot with Mephisto. I mean, you don't have to worry about dying because he has the heals. He's got a lot of durability. I mean, he has a decreased damage received by 40%, which is amazing for a character with an HP pool like himself. I mean, the guy is awesome. And like right here, we can use that second skill because it ignores iframe. We can go ahead and hit the second skill, try to get that proc to engage, and then go into the five, and then the tier three. Now you notice we did miss a little bit of damage there, but no big deal, no big deal. Playing very, very aggressive because this is stage 14 and I'm trying to get it done. Come on, come on, come on. But Mephisto is insane. And the funny thing about this is a lot of us kind of speculate that Null is resistant to elemental damage, right? But even so, Mephisto just plows through Null like he's a little kid. <laughs> like, he, like he freaking is destroying him. Run around, run around. And he's got great movement speed. This guy can run around. I mean, this big bastard could win the medal as far as track in the Olympics. Okay, and... And I just love the Mephisto. You can just cancel his skills and they just keep carrying on. You get all that residual damage from them. I mean, this dude really is... I mean, just like Null, just like the other native tier 3... From the world boss legend, he's just insane. Super easy to play, very tanky character, lots of good survivability, great movement speed, uh, really just all of the above. I mean, he's got everything. There really isn't uh, any weaknesses to the character, except for the fact that, you know, you do need to use a rage or a judgment on him. Uh, you know, and that's just bursting a prop. But other than that, the guy's insane. And at stage 14, you're going to take a lot of damage from Null. A lot. We're just going to come over here. We're going to go ahead and start plowing on a little bit more. Like I said, I'm playing super, super aggressive. Ooh, yeah, okay. Don't want to get caught in the tornadoes. Lots of obstacles in uh, 14 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot your crap, Null. Run over here. And this was easy, guys. I mean, honestly, with Mephisto, this is pretty easy, stage 14. No problem. So for those of you out there that have a lot less Pierce, even if you don't have Pierce on your account, Mephisto will get it done. He will, man. He will destroy World Boss Legends and regular World Boss easily, even if you don't have any Pierce. The guy is absolutely insane. And see, right here, stage 14, right? A lot of characters, when you try this, you would just die. But because of Mephisto's decreased damage received by 40%, his heals, you can just come in here, start plowing it on, right? You can just start doing damage to the symbiote cage that Null puts around himself to do a lot of damage and go into your skills afterwards and end the fight. Not yet, but almost. All right, tier three. Boom, shakalaka. Pretty cool seeing uh, Mephisto as the giant monster hitting Null. That's pretty awesome. So now let me show you the build.
So my Mephisto has 48,400 energy attack. He has, he'll have max attack speed whenever he uses his fourth skill, max critical rate. And here's the funny thing about what you all just saw. He has 170 critical damage. So I'm losing 30% critical damage. And that is a lot, my friends. That makes a big difference in the amount of damage that you actually can do. So keep that in mind when those runs you just saw. I mean, doing stage 14 and stage nine against himself. And then he has the max inner defense, max skill cooldown, and max dodge. And then as far as Zuru's, he has one Odin's Blessing, and then he has Mythic Energy Attack Uru's, and just a couple Dodge Uru's to max out that Dodge. And all of his skills are at 6, he has a Fully Awakened Overdrive set, and then of course the CTP of Rage. So Mephisto, in my opinion, definitely lives up to the hype. AVX meta, godly, and world boss, world boss legend. Just insane, and actually pretty useful in PvP as well. So let me know how y'all feeling about Mephisto getting it done. And I do stream on Twitch at Reset Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.